This is the fourth instalment of our Beatmaker's Guide series. In this video, we'll be using Paragon ST. This plugin is a true convolution reverb, which offers the flexibility of an algorithmic reverb, allowing you to bring a sense of depth and atmosphere to your mix by constructing and fine tuning your ideal space. On the left hand side of the main GUI, we have our pre delay and decay controls. Next to these controls is the tempo button. This switches the pre delay parameter from milliseconds to note divisions. In contemporary music, many producers sync their reverb and delays to the tempo of the track. Keeping the pre delay and decay time locked into your tempo helps to tighten up the mix by avoiding any washing out or blurring of individual parts. Firstly, looking at the main panel, in this video I'll be selecting the Tempo Sync control and adjusting the pre-delay. Selecting Tempo ensures that the pre-delay is in sync with the session tempo. In addition, I'll adjust the decay time to align with changes made to the pre-delay. Reverb time for most instruments will be based upon tempo and pace of the part. The faster the tempo, the shorter the reverb time will have to be, whereas a slower tempo can accommodate a longer reverb. Another control we'll be using is Stereo Width. Using a wide stereo image on a reverb helps to give the track an extra dimension and reinforces the impression of space in parts, such as vocals and synthesizers. Likewise, reducing the stereo image in parts like the kick or snare maintains the central position. Now let's look at the IR panel. Here we have our frequency graph display where you can edit the decay time and amplitude of specific frequencies in the impulse response. This can reduce unwanted or swelling frequencies and helps to shape the overall tone. In this session, I've set up two auxiliary sends. I'll be sending my kick and snare to the first reverb send. These two elements generally shape the rhythm of the song, so it's important that the pace isn't lost with the overuse of reverb. We'll begin by loading in the dark hall preset. Let's have a listen to how the pre-delays different divisions affect the character. Now we've got our pre-delay set, let's adjust the decay time. This can either be done via the slide control on the main panel, or for additional flexibility, let's go back into the IR panel. In this instance, I'm going to roll off some of the amplitude in the low end at around 150Hz to reduce clutter in the mix. As well as this, I'll reduce the frequency specific decay time from around 1.5 to 2kHz. Reducing some of the decay in the higher frequencies can help with the balance and create space for melodic parts. Finally, going back to the main panel for one last adjustment, I'm going to reduce the stereo width. Now, let's have a listen. I'll send my synth part and vocals to the second bus. I'll duplicate the instance of Paragon ST on the first bus and copy over to the second bus. Now that we're starting off with the same parameters that we set for the kick and snare, the first thing I'm going to do is increase the pre-delay. This creates more space for the synth attack. Secondly, I'll slightly increase the reverb length. Now let's go back to the IR panel and go back to our frequency graph display again. This time, I'm going to roll off the amplitude of all the low frequencies up to around 300 Hz. Again, this reduces clutter in the mix and also avoids any clash with our kick and snare reverb. Finally, going back to the main panel, I'll increase the stereo width control to create a wide image. Now let's hear both groups playing together to hear the overall reverb sound. 